Hello guys, welcome to the Photoshop tutorial. So what we are going to see today? Yes, we are going to create a panorama effect. So what exactly is panorama? It's nothing but a photograph containing a wide view. Suppose you go anywhere for a sight scene and it's sometimes it's not possible to take the whole scene in a single shot. Even though we have a different uh, a very advanced technology now nowadays uh, we can have a panorama effect in our uh, camera in our mobile even though we have this technology sometimes we forget to take these shots so how we create so first let me show you something so I have this four image The all bunch of this four image has been taken from the same place but from the different angle. You can see here the image one. You can see the building over here on the right hand corner. Just go to the image two. You can see it's here as well. So this image is of the same place but from the different angle. So how we create a wide view, a wide panorama view. So that what we are going to learn today. So let me close all of this first. Now for creating a panorama effect, first we need to go to the files, we click on automate and we go to photo merge. Now here in the photo merge you can see all these different options that you can go ahead and you can try the perspective, there is a cylindrical, there is spherical, there is a col college and a reposition. 90% of the time you can work on the auto mode so that the all the effect will be done by the Photoshop itself So here you can see uh, There's options of files and the folders the file if you have a uh, image uh, Saved in different places you can go ahead and select the file and collect all those images by browsing from here of all if all the images are in single folder you can go ahead and just select the folder you can browse from here and select the folder so uh, let me click on the file and I'll select all these four images. Now here we have the four options. First one is blend image together. So what blend image together does? So Photoshop will create a layout mask where the image is overlap with each other. So whenever, wherever the image will overlap and there will be an extra part, it will create a layer mask and it will remove those parts from that image. Now, the second part is vignette removal. What is vignette removal? Creating an exposure compensation in an image with dark edges. What it does, it removes all the dark edges from the image. Now the third one is geometrical distortion correction. So what is geometrical distortion correction? It's, it's a form of a optical distortion in which a straight line along the edge of a screen or a lens bulges towards the center. So it will remove all those lines which are bulging towards the center of a lens from the image. And the fourth one is content aware fill transfer area. This one I will tell you once our panorama is created. Now we have to click OK. Once we click OK, the Photoshop is gonna do some process automatically and this is going to take some time. So what I will do here, I will speed up the process for you so you don't have to wait much. So here we go, you can see here uh, the effect has been created. So what uh, really this uh, content aware do? So uh, since this image is uh, has been clicked really perfectly, content aware did not have to do anything. So I'll tell you what does content aware do. When, when all the four images is collaborated or, or collaged with each other, there will be a spot, there will be a part which are not filled, which are empty. 
so the content aware it will automatically recognize the area surrounding to that part and it will fill the area automatically so that it will look more realistic so this is how we are going to create a panorama effect hope you like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon in order to get the update of my oncoming videos thank you